Hey, hey, we have returned to Terra Invicta side stories. Oh, I guess I wasn't paying attention and didn't realize that Alyssa is feeding her child, so I need to... He said that. I literally you? said I know. I was, said I was getting it. map stuff ready. ready. I was. I love that, that you turn listening. off your ears when you're doing other things. Yes, I do. Right. Wow, Caleb, do you even listen to me? Like, are we even friends? <laughs> No, uh, I. Yeah. She I, said it. I was, I was reading. I was reading something. All right. Wow. So like, like, how were your questions? Like, huh, yeah. I, I, I didn't need to. Wow. Justify wow. that with a response. I, I, get, I get it. I get it. We're just yeah, like, whatever. yeah, friends. Whatever. Whatever, whatever friends, Alyssa. Caleb. That's fine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's fine. You know what Caleb's saying to you, Alyssa? Just he's saying whatever major loser. That's what he's saying. Just wow. Keep telling you Very rude. That. Just fine. <laughs> I need to find where did I even put this? I've definitely downloaded this, like your pr- profile picture from Facebook, like three times now. And I <laughs> don't have even it saved keep track of her yeah. profile picture. <laughs> like, what is going on? Why is this not your screensaver that you look at every <laughs> single day? <laughs> that would be a little we, weird. Caleb, you, you, you downloaded it three times. Why are you so obsessed with that? <laughs> That's for me to do. Well, no, I have to. I have to put it on where her blank video screen is. Um, don't worry, don't worry. We'll actually play some D. No, we're worrying, Caleb. Just we're a second. Worrying. Here. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the audience. <laughs> All right, just, just. I'm worried. Chill. We're all very concerned. Very concerned. Yeah. Look, by the time you find the picture, she's going to be done. Okay. I know, really. So, I, well, I just did it. It's done. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you guys get to Agu's Maw. Um, which, again, yeah, right? So, th- it is basically, like, the this giant, like, statue head um, of, like, a crocodile or a dragon. It's kind of, it's, like, worn away enough that, like, it's hard to tell which one of those it might be. Um, someone who is more versed in, like, Igbeye archaeology would probably be able to tell you. Um, you guys can make a history check if you really want to, if you're really interested. Wait, I I have advantage on, is it like advantage on history that has to do with stone working? Uh, Which wouldn't yeah, this be yeah. stone work? I think, I think right? it is, yeah. Okay, let me make sure that that's a thing. That sounds right. That's what Darius I'm pretty sure, said. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Jordan did that. If you yeah, me. it's... Yeah, relating to the origin of stonework. Origin of so stonework definitely, yeah. definitely fits. Make a history check with advantage, Kala. Kala. Yeah, oh, nice. doesn't matter. <laughs> 21 is not bad, though. Um, I mean, anyone who else wants to make it, go ahead and make it. 21 okay. is going to tell you everything, uh, but just want to make sure we have our bases covered. Me. I think I got my Case best history check I'm going to get today, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. 14 is not good enough. Cool. Yep. So uh, with the 21 Kala, um, basically, you know that it's probably not. Um, let me think about this for a second. I don't know. I don't think I actually even know the answer to this question technically myself. Uh, let me double check what's actually in this area in here. I know there are both dragons and crocodiles. I'm just trying to think of what the Igbeye would find important um oh okay this is what you figure out Kala. um it's not either of those um it's what it's it's a it's a now increasingly become becoming rare like it's they're probably extinct by now um it's a dinosaur um oh and so you know when the new world was first discovered people found a bunch of those again um, in in all places in the world, dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures used to exist, but they've been slowly dying off as people have like moved into various places. Um, so this is probably a T Rex or something like that that was carved because of its m- mighty majesty and stuff. Um, back when the Igbaye Empire existed, back when dinosaurs apparently roamed around these areas. So yeah, it's one of those. I just kind of like take a small sip of whiskey and go, "This thing is really old." <laughs> only i know how old it is yeah um i'd like you guys to even try and guess how old it is because i know why would we bother i can't say i i i, I do know uh really old it's a dinosaur <laughs> 
pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, everybody. From what I understand, I'm gonna go stand in the mouth and like hold my hands and be like ah, and have some, you know, take a picture. From, yeah, from, yeah, from yeah. what from what I understand from the stories, everyone used to walk like these. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <sighs> so yeah um so you see that right it's a it's a gaping maw and then there is like a like you could literally go inside the mouth and it's gullet is the pit right so you get to the back of the mouth and there's like a pit that just goes straight down uh do you walk in yeah I, oh so it's it's not like this it's like this it's like, yeah, it's faced out oh. like horizontally. Yeah. You, you said it was a pit. I figured it was like just. Yeah, uh, yeah. The pit there. The pit is vertical, obviously. But yeah, there is a it's a horizontal head. And then you go to the back of it. And supposedly it's like how here, our mouths work, how it's flat. <laughs> you go inside and then there's yeah, a pit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I just I just imagine <laughs> this. I just imagine this completely different. Yeah. OK. I mean, given, I was given, wondering like. Hmm. And given if it was a crocodile, that would make mm-hmm. make sense, right? Because their gullets yeah. don't work like that. But this is a T Rex, yeah. and their gullets okay. do work like that. <laughs> so there you go, fixed it. Okay, so yep. how are you approaching exactly? Carefully. Does it look like it's walking? Um, so it is the middle of the day, um, which typically, like you've heard, the spectral stuff only happens at night. Um, so you could like go check it out during the day if you want to but it's also likely that you're probably gonna have to stay until the night to like what was anything. our actual mission just exploring this like so there's just been rumors that like at night there's like a ghost here and the and i mean lee's like oh, that sounds interesting what's up with that yeah what's up with that okay. <laughs> <Is> that true <laughs> find out more hi so yeah and you know basically like like map the location make notes about it find you know grab any treasure you find um and tell us about it when you get back basically is the idea and then you know. so yeah, i mean you- i feel like maybe we should investigate it during the day so we can prepare for nighttime when the yeah. magic stuff would happen makes sense yeah sure that makes sense let's I mean, go down the gullet cool so yeah, when you does it like does it okay was it like a, a drop or is it more like a like Stairs, okay, hold, I guess. Hold, hold up before so like we go. Oh. Give me one second. Um, okay, I don't know why the are, are we gonna go down into it? I think we should. So you get to the edge of it, right? So you're inside of it at this point, and so you get to the back of the gullet of the back of, the back of the mouth, and you see this, right? You see this, like large pit that goes down um i think didn't it say i I don't remember exactly how far down it said but it was it was some some good good distance um it's probably in the picture eh? i sent to you guys um but yeah however there's a picture of what well i sent you the um you sent us the stip but you didn't send us a picture or something just I, I the was, screenshot of the, the screenshot is what I meant. Of <gasps> oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, "Well, you said this a picture. How does your picture?" So yeah, a deep shaft would drop into the wet ground like a stone gullet. More than a hundred feet below, bones choke this passage. Countless bodies that fill a space of unknown depth. Okay, would so we that's, actually be able to see that? In I mean, because it's dim lighting. Right? So um, you can Some probably see it. Bell. So I think, have dark vision. I think only Bell can see this because your dark really? vision is up to sixty feet. Okay. Her I mean, dark vision is not. I'll go down into the pit. Yeah, um, I mean, okay. So is there a way for us? My, is there a way for us to get down? You have to lower pit? rope down or something. Okay. Okay. So as my action, uh, uh, I mean, I guess we're not in order, but I would yeah. like to use my eyes of night. There you go. Yeah. I forgot. Um, I was like, to, I think you have to activate. Yeah, to share my dark vision with you all. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, let's see. It's an action you can magically add the number of features up to your wisdom modifier. So both of you have dark vision for one hour that goes up to three hundred feet. Dang, nice. you can share that. That's sick. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I can't do it again until a long rest. Um, unless I expend a spell slot. I. 
would like to cast spider climb on myself. Okay. Is what is this right here? Is this like a is it just like a it's not a path I take it. This is just like a no, yeah. So no? The, okay. the probably the map like that's probably the the intention of the original map. But yeah, what is actually happening is it's just like a yeah, cutoff point and it drops down a hundred feet. Um, so yeah, you'll need some sort of like rope or something to take it down all the way. Um, I think I have rope, but I also have an entertainer's pack. And it might not be a hundred feet if, even if I have rope. I climb into the pit. <laughs> okay. You guys Another fall like would be nice right now. Descending into the pit, just trying to like get down. Well, yeah. do, do, do we have? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just like crawling down carefully. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. Cool. Seeing if there's anything interesting down here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, of course. I do not have rope. Um, I. Do uh, I think it's sixty feet, right? With an explorer's pack. That's not very helpful. Do you have, wait? Do you have an explorer's I have rope pack? Too. Yeah. Okay. As so long as there's two people with with it, it should be fine. Okay. I have. I don't know how like interested I am in like actually climbing down though. I'm just like, well, they're saying it's like happening. They're saying it's happening outside of the mouth or inside the mouth, around the mouth. Like, um, it's let's see. I don't the, know. It says. While Agu's Ma is little more than a morbid landmark by day, it is said that at night, a spectral Igbaye shaman haunts the site, performing rites and guarding a crypt temple hidden deep below. So there is a crypt temple potentially below mm-hmm. there. Then Okay, so we have to go down. So yeah, we'll start tying off some rope. Uh, I'm assuming there's probably in all this, probably something we could tie it off to, like maybe like in the mouth or something. One of these pillars that's like right here. Oh, those are pillars. Oh, okay. It looks like they are. Are they pillars? Um, oh, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it, we'll tie it off. And I do. Do you want us to roll for that, or are we good? No, I think like there's nothing's gonna like hinder your your way down or anything. So it's not really okay. any stakes. Um. So, but one thing happens though, um, Bell, because you're, um. Um, perception is so high. Um, okay, yeah. So for this, you will have to roll a perception check, um, given what's happening okay. here. But so you guys get to the bottom, right? Um. Oh, okay. We're already at the bottom. Yep. And yeah, nothing. Ha- okay. Nothing bad happens. You get to the bottom. The rope is still up. You know, ascending above. So it's not like you, you can get back up if you need to. Um. But uh, yeah, there's like this clear gelatinous okay. substance that's just kind of like oh no around oh, no. on the bottom here right um okay so make it so make a perception check. check and and anyone else can make this too you guys can each make it oof wow i did not do good oh not 20 very nice very nice well i'll roll anyway 14 yes so only uh kala is aware that um this the substance starts to kind of coalesce into three cubes. There's a yeah. gelatinous cube. Do these cubes look gelatinous? They do indeed look gelatinous. Yeah. Whoa. If you knew what jello was, you would be salivating right now. But um yeah. Cool. But instead it's just terrifying. Everybody roll initiative. Ew. Let's go. Oops, I forgot to. There you go. Okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> of course, they roll super low. They uh, slow. Nobody really rolled hot on that one. All right, Kala, obviously, you're the only one who gets to act of the party on this round, but you definitely notice that this is happening and they're about to like run forward to attack you guys. Wait, you... oh, okay, there are three. I yep. have my character sheet over the rest of them. <laughs> Um, I am going to mm-hmm. 
For something that makes a five foot cube, would it only hit one of these of the grouped up ones? Or could it hit both? A five foot cube? Yeah. So literally just like a five foot square? Yeah. Yeah. Can I? Them. It would only hit one. Yeah. Okay. Then I will not do that. Um, look, here's the thing. I got a firebolt. <laughs> mm-hmm. Makes sense. I got it. Um, I guess I'm going to shoot the one closest to us over here. Cool. Cool. That's a crit. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That's going to be 25 fire damage. Oh, my gosh. Oh, very nice. <laughs> You're definitely <Yeah>. DPS. <laughs> Ow. Just, 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 wow. Guess we just see Kala do a, Kama, a Kamehameha wave into, <laughs> into the cube. Yeah. Just. And yeah, it's like it, you know, seethes and sizzles and parts of it are just like, yeah, burning and melting off. Which one did you hit? This one right here. The alone one. That was a cantrip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. There you That'd go. Why waste spell slots when you can do that? <laughs> Wait, yeah, you, so oh, right. you, you guys don't get to do anything. Right. <laughs> um, let's see. I guess I say, hey guys, there's some um, cubes that look not great. So this one is just gonna <laughs> yeah, plop Ooh. itself on you if it can. On all of us. Oh, mm-hmm. great. Um, so nice, nice, nice. Everybody make a DC 12 dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Oh, that's terrible. I'm nervous. I got a plus seven. I'm oh, so phew. nervous. Success, phew. success. Success. Whoa, we all succeeded. <laughs> Woo! That could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been very bad. Um, let's see. Uh, a creature that chooses not to be pushed. Oh, okay, so on a successful save, the creature can choose to be pushed five feet back or to the side of the cube. Uh, okay, so choose- I'm going to go there. Yeah. I'll go here. Oh, now we're flanking. Um, I guess I'll go here. Cool. And that's, that was his action. So it tries to Actually, engulf you guys and you guys manage to like dodge out of the way. Um, this one though is going to come up to you, uh, Bell, and just attack you with its little pseudopod move. It's gonna. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Work. So eleven acid damage. Oof. Why are you all attacking me? And then this one is gonna. Actually, how far can they move? I need to double check that. It's Ooh, only slow, fifteen isn't it? feet. Yeah. Oh, well, so, that's yeah. That was. I don't know if okay. Well, I'll probably change where some of the starting positions were in my head then, uh, because they could have been anywhere in these gelatinous in the blue liquid or whatever. Um, but yeah, because they can only move fifteen. So that one just moves up, and then I guess it takes the rest of its movement to move there, and that's its entire turn. So, uh, Cal, it's you. Okay, so this one that we're flanking, I could do a fireball straight roll, straight right? Because yep. it's mm-hmm. yep. cancels out. Indeed. <laughs> or you could fireball. But you Center on that. yourself. <laughs> yeah, no thank you for now. Just going to fireball. 13? Yep. Mm-hmm. That hits? Yeah. Oh, okay, dang. Okay. This is going to be oh, cool nine easier, damage. Though. That's not good. Not super hot. Um, and well, it, well, it is hot because you know fire, but uh, <laughs> I guess that's all. I'm gonna. Um, if I, can I climb up the wall behind me and still be in their range to not provoke opportunity attacks and just like hang out on the wall? Spider-Man. Just like climb up the rope. 
I have spider climb. I can just climb up the wall. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying to they're think. very they're, large. They're, they're large, large. So I feel like they have reach, right? 10 feet instead of they five. They have. Uh, no. Um, no. Yeah. The. Okay. Well, I could at least go like that. Yeah. They're pretty hefty. They're like giant jello cubes, literally. So, yeah. Yeah. I just don't want to really be too. right in between them. I mean, okay. Kala, make an arcana check. Okay. That's probably not stuff you just know. <laughs> it would be our, oh yeah, it would be arcana. These are magical yeah. thingies. Eight. With an eight? Up to you. Know. Okay. I mean, I just moved back like that, so I'm not <laughs> in between them. Okay. That's I mean, it still makes turn. sense. You're still not getting flanked. Right. That's why I'm just kind of like, mm, nah, I'll just move back one then. Oh, Caleb is dying. I was frantically trying to mute myself before I coughed. <laughs> but we didn't hear you cough. You were just you just yep. looked like you were dying. Okay, so my turn. Yes. Okay. Um, would I be flanking if I moved here? Yeah. Okay. What I what actually are better question, would I still be flanking if I was right here? I'm taking it the answer is no, but these are bigger creatures, so I'm asking. Nope. Yeah, it's just okay. right there. It has to be okay. direct, or, or directly diagonal. Okay, I'll move here. Um how how bad does this thing look? About halfway, you think? Halfway. Only halfway? Mm-hmm. Okay, in that case, I'm not going to move at all. Actually, no, I'll still move so I can give um, so I can give her flanking. But instead, I'm going to cast Shatter. Oh, yeah, I did use Hold Person, right? Get a little extra damage, and I will cast this. Oh, wait, actually. Oh, wait, let me read this again. Um, a creature made of inorganic materials such as stone, crystal, and metal. Okay, no, it's not made of stone, crystal, or metal. Well, is it still? I don't know if I would know if it's inorganic material. Um, but I'm making our kind check. Well, here, here I'm just I'm I'm mentioning this for your sake. Yeah. But a creature made of inorganic material, such as stone, crystal, or metal, has disadvantage on the saving throw for shatter. So that sounds like inorganic material, like these three things. Mm -hmm. not any inorganic material and here are three examples so i think it would be either true okay fair right because shattering something probably wouldn't do much to a jello yeah okay well okay either way i'm casting shatter i'm gonna still cast it at second level that's some good damage Mm -hmm. Uh, Um, okay i'm casting it on actually wait, wait 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 let me i don't think i can cast it at a place where i hit all three of them i'm aiming for the the two on the right, but yeah. uh, it's 10 foot radius sphere. So no, I cannot hit them. Wow. Oh, just failed. hit me. They have really good con saves too. And they, uh, they will fail. Wait, could I wait? Actually, how high in the air are you? I'm not in the air. I just moved back one. Just hit me. Just hit all three of them and me. You sure? She has the most hit points. Okay. True. Yeah. I'll just aim it. So it hits her too. Actually, wait, no. Um, yeah, I can oh, do it in the air. I, I made the con save, so that one made the con save too. It's, it's only right. nine damage to me. Still, it's a little more, it's more damage. Yeah, but more. that adds. I feel like that's more helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's right. Um, I and I'll yell out and I'll actually wait. Do I still have? I still have Bardic. I probably just yell out, hit me! I've been hitting you all day! (laughs) Fair enough! (laughs) Just fight back for once! (laughs) Like, you better not fall now! And I'll give you Bardic. It's like, I haven't hit you for a reason. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, if you... (sighs) Okay, so, yeah. That's my turn. Uh, All right, Belle. Yeah, I'm going You're to You're surrounded cast... by cubes. I'm going to cast spiritual weapon. Google, what is your spiritual Ooh. weapon? Um, obviously a sailor speak. moon little, you know, <laughs> shaped 
type of weapon. You know, it looks like a sickle, but it's yeah, like a yeah. moon. Oh, sure. Yeah. A you moon know, sickle. A moon sickle. <laughs> so what I use. So what Raya used. Exactly. Just what Raya used. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I'm assuming that doesn't hit. A nine. Uh, uh, nine does hit, actually. Yes. <laughs> what? What? Mm-hmm. They're, 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 they're the definition of squishy. Thing. Yep. Right. I just okay. have a lot of hit points. Um, I'm just gonna place it like right here. Cool. Which one are you attacking though? Because it it doesn't get flanking, right? Uh no. Yes. It yeah. Not. We we have <laughs> no, officially... the amount of times we've had to ask yeah, that. No. So I know. I just, it it's been a while. Does not get. <laughs> does not. It does I didn't not think take so. up physical space. We've determined so, this finally and at last. Here. It can't do that. Um, and I think I'm going to have it attack this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so level yep, two, two damage. There level you go. and force damage. Very nice. And then Slices I will. Slices into the cube and pieces of it start sliding off. I'll uh, sacred flame that one as a, yeah, as cool. my action. Wait, is your action? Yeah. Yeah. It's bonus action. Action. Bonus. One as a bonus action. Oh, okay, cool. Needs me to DC 15. Next year. It yep. failed. There you go. All right, it's the cube's turns. No, I was really hoping they'd take it out. So. Very nice job splitting, splitting you guys up so you can't be engulfed by the cube anymore. Um, it's so all I at the same time. Yeah, exactly. So I think this one is going to move here. And they're both going to attack Bell, And this other one's going to attack um, Kala. Because so, you're right there. Um, so we'll do the one that's attacking Kala first. You have the highest AC. That misses. Yep. And then the two are going to do with advantage. Uh, one 17 of them 19. Hits. Okay. One of them hits. It's a 19. Five acid damage. <laughs> wow, that's such a bad roll on their part. Good. <laughs> there you go. That's their entire turns. Cal, let's see. Oh, and, and now we can't fireball them all at the same time. Okay. Question for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. With using quicken spell, you can make something a bonus action. Can I cast the same spell again for my action? I don't see why not. I okay. don't think there's any restrictions against that. Yeah. Well, can you okay. cast two bonus actions? Act, bonus action spells well, in so one if, turn. Well, that's the idea. The is she's ta- casting one as an action and one as a bonus action? Yeah, I know. That's what I was asking. Can you cast a bonus action spell as an action already? It, that would what? Never, never. Mind. I'm like, like I don't know. I, what you're I get saying. what you're saying, but I, yeah, I don't think there's any restrictions on cat. Okay, it just it just I think it depends on action types more than anything. Okay, so I'm going to. Well, quicken. and it doesn't matter if oh, one of them's not. But a it also, cantrip, it, yeah, that's the thing. It matters actually. Is it a cantrip that you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's fine then. Um. Because it's right. It's just one of the spells has to be a cantrip if you're doing two spells. On yeah. One okay. Yeah. That's um. So I'm going to quicken this firebolt that I'm going to do at the one that I'm flanking with. So it's just a flat roll. Okay. okay. 24 hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Far and above. That's 11 you... damage. Very nice. Yep. It's still and then, up. Dang. And then I'm going to use. Um, so that costs two sorcery points. Now I'm going to use one sorcery point to twin spell. I always having fun with this. <laughs> and cast firebolt at that same one. And then the one further down, so it's not a disadvantage for either of them. Very nice, very nice. So this first one is going to be for the one that's flanked. Okay. Eight hits, right? Uh Uh-huh, it does. Oh, right! 15 damage. And it's dead. Woo! Yeah, they have six six armor class. Now (laughs) the one further down, that's 14, so that hits. And it does hit, yeah. And that is 12 fire damage. Very nice. Here we go. I use so many sorcery points, but do you get those back okay. on? A, do you get those back on a short rest? A long rest. Oh, I think at some point sorcerers get those yes. back on a short rest, but it has to be pretty high level, though. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, at twentieth level. <laughs> wait, what? Wow. No, wait, what am I? At twentieth level, you regain four expended sorcery points whenever you finish a short rest. 
Oh, oh, but you get yeah. spell slots back at, at sh- during short rest or something like that. Um, Equal I don't to, think like, sorcerers do that. I think warlocks no, do. Just warlocks do. The warlocks get I can, all their spell I slots can back on spend, short rest. I can spend sorcery points to buy uh, spell that's, slots. That's what it is. Yep. Maybe I'm thinking of something. Maybe I'm As thinking a of a bonus action. Then. Because I could have sworn there was one I I had played a character and like you could get up to like two spell slots worth of. I think wizards can do that at some point, depending on the domain. I think it is my because um, Adeline was a wizard. I don't know, That's but fine. I'm done now. Okay, cool. Alliard. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Mm. Um. Well, in this case, I will move move to the other side of that one. Move to the other side of this one and stabby stab. Cool. Cool. Do it. I'm looking it. for it. Rapier. Oh, nice. Ooh, boy. Still not as much as what she was rolling with the cantrip. Good, very good. But that's 15 pi- pi- piercing. Um, yeah, it doesn't, then, it doesn't have any like resistances or anything to damage type. So you're fine. Oh, okay. It doesn't make any um, sense that this is actually hurting it by just right. stabbing it with a rapier. <laughs> but oh well, it's DD. I get. Bardic's back on short rest. So I'm going to give, yeah, I'll give, I'll give, um, Bella Bardic. Cool, cool, cool. Can't think of anything snarky at the moment, so I'll just leave it at that. So yeah, that's my turn. Cool, cool. Bell. Cool. As a bonus action, I will, um, spiritual weapon this one. Oh, yeah, I got to grab your moon sickle. Yeah, you do. You got to grab it out. Boom. Okay, there that'll it is. hit. Yep. Very 12 nice. force damage. Cool, cool. And then I will take out my war hammer mm-hmm, and attack mm-hmm. the one that I'm flanking with. Cool. Yep. Four bludgeoning. Very nice. All right, cubes turns. Uh, they're just gonna go for it. Um, I think let me, I need to double check what's actually more damaging here. Yeah, that's definitely okay. They're gonna, they're gonna go for the engulf now. <clears throat> so this one is gonna go over you, Kala, and make a deck save. Okay, you succeed. You get pushed to wherever you want next to it. And then this one is going to try to engulf Bell. Wait, can Aww. I go anywhere around the whole thing? Uh, I believe so, yes. Oh, then I'm going to move like over here. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me double check. Um, it's like it pushes right you. It. Push it, like, five it pushes back it. or to the side of the cube. Oh, so I can't go all the way through no, it. No, 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 no. Uh, that, that would make sense if you like uh, if you got pushed in you, you like flew over it. <laughs> okay, then I'll go there. So then Bell make a deck save. Oh no. It'd no. be easier if I got lucky help. last time, but not yeah. this time. Oh, <gasps> that is the save. You yeah. save. <gasps> Yay. Very nice. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, so you're to the back or to the side. Uh let's go. Let's go here. Cool. Okay. <gasps> That's their turns. Kala, it's you. I'm gonna do something really crazy. I am going to firebolt the bottom one. Okay. <laughs> so crazy. Wow. It hits. That's a 10. And this is nine damage. Very good. Is that it? And then. Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really move anywhere good. Yeah. Alliard. Okay. I will move here. I will stab there. Uh, there. Yeah, there it is. Cool. Yep. 90. Mm-hmm. Slowly taking these guys out, Bell. Okay. Uh, spiritual weapon. Mm-hmm. That one. It actually, hold on. I can have this thing. No, I'll just keep it there. That's fine. Can you, you can use Bardic on a spiritual weapon, can't you? I guess you don't really need to. I don't really, yeah, I don't really. These things have such a low AC. It would have helped with the engulfment failed, though. Yeah, that's true. 
11 force damage. And then I'm going to actually sacred flame the one that's in front of me just because I realized sacred flame actually does more. And these guys have really bad decks. So yes, they do. The chances are fairly good. Okay. Seven. Cool. All right. Cubes turns. This one is just going to try to attack. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. This one's going to attack Hala. And miss. Wow, they're doing <laughs> terrible. And this one's going to attack Bell. And hit. What? Ooh. What the? <laughs> <laughs> 16 acid. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? <laughs> I don't understand. I have one hit point left. <laughs> Again. Uh, I don't understand. Very nice. Kella. If it makes you feel any better, Alyssa, I believe Tasha's added a rule where you can add Bardic Die to healing. That's eight fire damage to the bottom one. <laughs> Very nice. Aliard. Why did I even bring that down? Mm hmm. 12. It dead. Woo! Belt. Okay. Um, it looks like that one's probably going to keep attacking Kala, so you're probably safe. Right, 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 right. No, that's fine. Um, okay, all bonus action spiritual weapon it. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. Good to go. Nice. Oh, well, you know, that's okay. And then I'm going to sacred flame it. That's better. Get a sacred flame it a question. Uh, yeah, it fails. Okay, and then I am going to back up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go around the bones. All right, Jelinus Cube's going to try it one more time. Okay. Hey, it's Kala. Ooh. Oof. All right, so fine. good 25 damage. Feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they'd actually been hitting, they could have been doing a lot more, but... <laughs> Feeling... Great. All right, Kala, it's you. Uh, I'm going to disengage. And I would like to climb up the wall like 20 feet. All okay. right. Sounds good. Alliard. Do I go stabby stab? You know what? I will because it does look very damaged. It does look very damaged. It can't envelop me because I've got ridiculous decks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Until the dice say that it can. Yeah. I'll, you know what? I'll just go for it. I ain't no coward. Not true. I'm very scared. <laughs> Oof. It hits. <laughs> Even a crit not fail. With a, it's not, an with eight. A, not with a crit fail. No. Not with a crit fail. Come on. Crit fails always automatically fail. Crit critical successes always automatically succeed. We've done this from day one. You've never had us automatically succeed with nat 20s. Yeah. Always. 100% always. 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 I feel like some of the things that I we feel like there have been a few occasions where you that you're like, no. I guarantee you, you, you can go search if you want to. I guarantee you. We said this from day one. Crit success successes are always oh, successes. I mean, I'm not arguing that he should hit with that. I'm just saying, I feel like you've had us make like checks and stuff before that you're like, we only, don't make the DC. Only initiative would that matter. So, okay. Only initiative. Well, I missed. Yep. <laughs> That's my I feel turn. like maybe it's it just like, like ping. <laughs> yeah, you like yeah. it, but yeah, it bends the blade. <laughs> the, the you got the crusty part of the jello that like that's is I was really too. annoying to eat. Yeah, <laughs> just so no. gross. I hate it. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, Bill. Well, so please kill it. Okay, yep. spiritual weapon. <laughs> nope, not dead. Okay, um, I guess I will sacred flame it. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not dead. It is dead. Yes. Oh, sacred flame worked. Yep. Okay, guys. If we're being honest, 
I am not feeling as great as I was trying. I was putting on a front for those jello cubes. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I have the solution. It okay, I I did look at okay. I think I don't remember which it was. Bardic can be used in newer version, in newer um things that have come out for healing. Tasha's as, cauldron. It's just like an alternate rule. Tasha's culture of everything introduced a new optional class feature for Bard's magical ins- magical inspiration. With this feature, a creature that casts this, ooh, uh, with this, a, fe- a creature that casts a spell while they have Bardic Inspiration can buff the spell's effects. For a healing spell, they would roll the Bardic Inspiration die and add the result to the number of hit points being restored. For a damage spell, they would do the same, add the result to the total damage. So is this the sort of thing where it's like, here's another cool. thing that it can do if you just decide to, or is it like this replaces something else? I think so. I think it, it does a optional class feature. Um, I don't know what it would replace. I have Tasha's. I can check. This is yeah. especially potent with spells that affect multiple creatures like mass cure wounds and fireball. That's mainly what I'm wondering. Cause like that, Number. it sounds like it might be like, oh, you replace this with something else. Let um, me look. Um, it looks like it's looking. just a level two feature. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. But though. Okay, so I was going to cast one of my third level spells or a vitality, and for one minute, um, whenever our like turn ends, one of us can get 2d6 hit points. Mm-hmm. So we could just like take turns like yeah. getting hit points back. I'm feeling a hot 13 right now. <laughs> I'm a one. So yeah, I know I you are. But that's back. why I was like, I was like, I don't know if so I can take we get another 10, hit. We get 10, 10 Rounds of 2d6s, unless something yeah. interrupts us in the next minute. Caleb, is anything going to interrupt us in one minute? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then um, it, so. it looks like it's just an additional rule. Yeah, if we I, want I, to I, I found it. it myself. And yeah, it's, it just basically is like you just ask your DM and maybe he gives it to you. What so, do you think? Um, For this one shot, sure. I'm not going to necessarily say that no, rule carries gonna... over to any bar that is ever going to exist from now on, but like, um, uh, take we <laughs> take we thank you. I was like, dang it. I forgot their name. It's a neat feature though. Cause it means your bardic inspiration are a little more useful. Cause I feel mm-hmm. like there's times where like we haven't so like, you oh. just take everything for yourself until you're full and then I'll take whatever you have left. I haven't been hit yet. <laughs> I'm like, talking to, I know, just to Lisa getting her own yeah. ones. Seth, I probably I'm gonna look through those myself, like just like uh-huh. a bunch of different ones, and just see if there's any ones that I want to add to yeah, the game. I, okay, I, I am back. Look for Druid, and I use One, two, three, four, five. Okay. okay, okay, so you have five more rounds to get yourself up. How do you do the same roll again? Just oh, there we go. Up on it. Yeah. How's this working? What are you guys doing? She did uh, aura it's a spell. vitality. Oh well, yeah, aura. Yeah, yeah. So for like a minute of concentration every cool. turn. Um, yeah, I'm full. Somebody <laughs> I was gets like, wow, you have to roll a lot there. <gasps> yeah, I, I just points. so that's ten ten rounds yeah. basically. So mm-hmm. yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So we're both full. Yeah, definitely okay, still possible can- that you didn't do it if you kept rolling really low, but yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, can we do an investigation check down here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Ooh, that was pretty good. 17. I couldn't invest. No. Uh, Bell, on- honestly, it could, probably should just be Bell rolling with advantage because it's two of your yeah, helping that's, her. That's what I was thinking. I was like, okay. Oh, okay. It was, oh, well, um, or not. <laughs> or Maybe not. you should just let me you roll know. what I roll, Caleb. <laughs> Stop trying to convince me to have less, worse less, things happen. Less rolls are always better in, in an RPG. It makes everything more simple. Yeah, and my one single roll would have been fine. I suppose so. Um, we'll just say, either way, there's nothing to find. It's all been dissolved by um, the gelatinous cubes. So just lots there's, of bones. There's no other like rooms to go in down here? No, yeah. It literally looks pretty bare. It's just like the the bottom of this gullet. And you're, you know, the stories say that it doesn't have actually appear until the night. So, like, who knows? But um, is yeah, there anything? Were they like glowing down here? 
Um, was what glowing? Was like the gelatinous cubes like glowing at all? No, not really. So like you get when you got to the bottom, if if you had any light with you, then you could see that it was like blue and translucent. But um, yeah, they're not glowing exactly. Um. So is there another path like on this bottom side? Or is that just like how this map so I, looks? In yeah, that's just how the, how the map looks. I think okay. probably like when night comes, that will probably open up, right? Um, but as of right now, there's nothing besides like the pit itself. Um, so it seems like, it, I mean, it's entirely possible whatever's going on with this thing, the gelatinous cubes are there so that anyone who comes and checks it out just dies and doesn't matter either way. Can I make like an arcana check to see if the cubes are going to come back. If there's still stuff like yeah, the Ar- arcana, jelly yep. here. And I think the, oh, okay. So with the failed arcana, I'm mm. going to say yes, that the, they just kind of go back to the constituent matter. It's just like kind of jello liquid ish stuff. And you, you can tell at the very least for maybe this is not how old gelatinous cubes work, but these are probably going to come back. Okay. So You could try to like get rid of them permanently by like, you know, yeah. Can we clean up the goo? Possibly. I even have (laughs) precipitation. I have mage hand. Can I use mage hand to slowly throw goo out? Out where just a hundred feet up. (laughs) There's no Um, out really. Yeah. Um. Me and me and my mage hand can start. Getting goo out, just like carrying it up the rope. <laughs> yeah, why not? Wouldn't, spread that just, or climb? wouldn't that just spread it? <laughs> well, yeah, but then it's it. not our problem here. But I was gonna, uh, Aliard was gonna recommend us waiting up, uh, up on top because that way, if we get if we get ambushed, essentially, I mean, either way, sitting ducks. you can do that and also do this, right? Look, we have a while because it's not going to be nightfall yet, so we might as well use our time to transport goo. (laughs) Does anyone else um, have any spells or whatever that would help with this sort of operation? (laughs) No. Uh, I I don't don't know if Cal is going to be able to five pounds at a time. Well, I can carry stuff too because I have spider climb. Oh, that's true. So I can climb up with holding stuff. Just like fill your satchels with this goo. (laughs) Yeah. You guys aren't going to help me. I have a minus two to strength. Okay, it's not about strength. It's just about being willing to help. I mean, it is kind of about strength because, well, it's, okay, it's about constitution because you're literally going to, like, exhaust yourself probably yeah. by doing this. You, Cal, Look, you're probably fine. If with, if you have spider climb, I think you're okay. I have but spider everyone climb. everyone else? I have a plus three constitution, plus six for con saves. Yeah. I, I think, specifically with spider climb, I think you're fine because it's literally, at that point, it's just, like, walking to you. Right? Like, that's the yeah, amount of effort I'm you're doing. I'm used to hard work. And and also unlike that. you fancy boy. You have I dealt with I dealt with so many people. You have no don't you mock me. You do not know what hard work is in my line of reasoning. Um <laughs> Caleb, could I make an arcana check to see what it would take to like actually like get rid of these things? Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> Mm. Yeah, so with, with a 23, it seems obvious that it's bound to the magic of this place. So if there is something weird happening, which, I mean, the fact that this right. is staying here and that it seems to be slowly coalescing back where it's like into cubes again, it definitely speaks to the fact that there's something magical happening here. So, so that like breaking, magic. yeah, bre- breaking the magic of the place itself is probably what you need. But dispel magic itself probably won't work because it's probably bigger than that, right? But also, does that mean that me taking the goo away from this place makes them not coalesce? Um, unsure. If the place is magic and not the goo, you'll probably how know much, quickly. What is the radius? Wait, what? The question is, what is the radius of the magicness of it? Well, oh, yeah, I magic. mean, if I'm if I'm transporting that for an hour, at what point would I see if it started coalescing? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, with the 23. Does anyone have to spell magic as a spell? Yes. Yeah. Um, 
So I think this is what you find out. Um, Kala, you start transporting it and then like you throw it in the jungle, right? Yeah. Um, and you come back in down. In different you, places. Yeah, exactly. You do that a couple of times and you can, you're like, okay, it's not working. Like it's still the same amount is here for some reason. Mm, um, okay. So it is bound to the place. But if someone wants to try to spell magic, I mean, is, you, you probably have to roll because it's probably a powerful magic, but you can try it. I can do it. Just, I just can only do it. I only have two third level spell slots. What if you so. just dispelled magic of the whole place and you roll like really high and then the, sh- the, the shaman ghost just doesn't appear and it's just all <laughs> over. If he rolls a nat 20, does that happen? And then the back door just opens for us hey, and then sure. we can just plunder yeah. it. <laughs> okay, well, um... Uh, before you do that, um, mm-hmm. I think I want to cast C invisibility. Mm-hmm. Just see sure. if, like, there's, like... <laughs> Ghost just looks over you. Uh. <laughs> uh, um, this is awkward. Crap. He's this just, like, he's, like, grilling. He's, like, grilling. <laughs> like, just nearby. Just, uh. I wasn't going to start haunting you guys until night. Because that's when I can actually, like, touch uh. you. Um, yeah, it's, it's man. Like my day off right now. Like, could you come back later? <laughs> come back in about seven hours. Uh, so, um... Do you want to you want to cast see invis- invisibility? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, so it's like it basically you can see creatures and objects as if they were invisible, and you can also see into the ethereal plane. Ethereal mm-hmm. creatures and objects appear ghostly and translucent. Ooh, ethereal. So I don't know, just like a thought, but it's using a second level spell. But Try. but also here's my other thought too: is we can always just sleep for an extra night and not like sleep through this night tonight and then just dilly dally during the day You're and not the next wrong, night and get all our spells back. But we also random encounters. Mm-hmm. Okay, but like hanging out in the hut, how long does the tiny hut last? Eight hours. Hmm. Oh, and you can cast as a rit- Wait, Can you cast as a ritual? I think, yeah, I think so. Because so. that was the reason it was so good with Toity because I could yeah. just cast it as a ritual and um that seems like the sort of thing you'd be able to cast as ritual did you say you can cast, see into the ethereal plane casting time no? one minute do you have ritual casting clerics do yeah. clerics do yeah okay you can cast it as a ritual then so yeah, oh, yeah. so all we have to do is take 10 minutes yeah hang out in the tiny hut all day <laughs> that's just and then just like just see what happens thing. yeah and, but also just like giving us time to get all our spells back before we face the ghost. Except I think Caleb's saying that you might see something now. Well, do you cast the invisibility? That's the question. I don't know. I guess I would talk to the party about it. I, that's my argument of saying yes, that you should. Okay. Because we, we can always get our spells restored. As well, we just then. wait an extra night. And Bell, did yeah, you but say that I... you can see into the ethereal plane? Okay, so yeah, I will go ahead and cast C invisibility. Do I see anything? Um, you definitely do because Ooh. this guy is hanging out on the ethereal plane right now. Um, he said he's grilling. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I think probably what it is, Bell, if you're like standing right there, he just suddenly appears right. Um, Only she can see it, right? See if it will pop up. There you go, right there. Okay. So Ooh. it's it's a male um and it's a tiefling. But yeah, definitely like blue kind of ethereal spirit thing and he's just standing there, right? It's almost as if he's like he's his eyes are open, but is it's like he's comatose or something or like he's just like kind of standing there staring into nothingness. And he's staring towards you, but like definitely doesn't see you. Um but yeah, so it's like a, a tiefling shaman of the long lost Igbe Empire, probably. Uh, and you can make a history check, Bell, to like glean any information from his getup or whatever. Okay. Can I help her if she like is describing stuff to me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I'm trained. In is that something Bell would do? Yeah. Um, I mean, like if I see that like he's not doing anything, if I just kind of like yeah, you wave in front of him. Yeah, he's not doing anything at all. You know, like yeah, then I would probably say I see. A male tiefling in the middle here, you know, like that's what I would say. I see a male half elf. Uh, nope. 
So, so I think actually, let me let me back up from that. I mean, history is such you don't know anything. Uh, I'm gonna back up from that. I'm gonna I'm gonna say he's not staring. He's not he's not standing and staring. I think I, I have a better idea of what he's doing in the ethereal plane right now. So okay. instead, you it's actually like a shock. As soon as you cast the invisibility, you see him swinging with a sword right towards your face. And so you probably freak out for a second, but then he passes through you. And he's very obviously like in some sort of pitched battle on the ethereal plane. And I think you probably see like um, horrible demonic figures, like also also on the ethereal plane, probably like battling with him. And he's like, you know, doing having an epic battle sequence with like maybe like a spiked club. And he's just like, and just like swinging at these demons and like killing them on the ethereal plane right now. But like, it's right here on the the ethereal plane. So you just see this like ghostly battle happen around you as you as you watch. Because right, yeah. the ethereal plane can't interact with us. Yeah, exactly. Right. So it's just like so I'm just like seeing this demonic battle go on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I probably fall down and then like kind of like scoot away at first, and then I realize like oh, okay, no. And then so I go back and I'm like, it, it's a tiefling man. He is fighting some demons right now in the ethereal plane. And. The- so does that mean he's because I don't think I can actually place? I don't think I can actually commune with him right just because I can see him yeah I think you can just see mm, but he's tiefling that means I could probably talk with him later yeah <clears throat> maybe I mean I'm I'm assuming I speak this kind of the tiefling language that is of the local people so well if that's it then it would be abyssal not infernal okay oh okay I can yeah, but you can change it if you want to yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, it would make sense if I didn't speak the tieflings or the tieflings that were nearby. Yep. Yeah, it's the difference um, between the tieflings that made deals with devils and the t- tieflings that made deals with demons. That's the difference there. So what exactly is the ethereal plane? The ethereal plane is like... So in our setting, the ethereal plane is like the... The ethereal plane and the astral plane in our setting are like the same thing. And it's basically just the it's it's where Darius was actually traveling when he went anywhere. Right. He just did it so fast that he didn't stay there. Right. But that's that's what all magical travel does. You're you're entering the ethereal plane in time and space is compressed there. So you're you're basically going into hyperspace right whenever you're traveling. But that's the hyperspace place. Um, So, yeah, it's it's like the ethereal that the plane that connects all other planes the the sea, the astral sea that just kind of connects everything and you someone can travel to or travel through if they're going to into another plane um or get stuck there or get stuck there yep any of those are possibilities um yeah if you if you go there and don't have a way to actually go to another plane you're just stuck right right okay but yeah ghosts typically um can go there um Mm-hmm. But yeah, it is it is slightly different from so it's not the it's not the shadow fell. It's right, it's not the realm of the mind so much. Um, but it is a realm that connects the other realms. Right. Okay. So it's a the plane of transition. I think what it's called in magic, I don't remember. So so you know, Shadow Fell, um, you know, the spirits of the dead went there before they passed on to the soul realm what was probably actually happening is they were going to the ethereal slash astral plane, then to the mind realm, then to the ethereal slash astral plane again, and then to the soul realm, right? So when you travel from one place to another, you're at at least for some amount of time in the ethereal slash astral plane. So. The transitional. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's the way you get to anywhere else. It's the, yeah, exactly. Okay. And, um, you would, you would know it as like, the um i probably should have had you make an arcana check to know all this but i'll give it to you for free um thanks all good all good um i mean she knows how to look into it she yeah, probably yeah, knows yeah. About it. yeah um you know it, it's it's when you actually go there it, yeah it's just this, this giant kind of like smoky cloudy plane of nothingness um yeah okay sounds good um well, I'm like, I think I found our ghost. Yeah, uh, I'm he's just a kind little of... preoccupied at the moment. How many demons are around? Um, hard to say. There's so many that 
keep dying and then others seem to come um and he's just it's like you start to get the image of like he's on like a a hill that's made up pretty much of just demon corpses at this point and he just keeps being surrounded by them and killing them over and over again and they keep piling up right okay sounds I'm pretty metal kind of thinking this guy is <laughs> it's very metal alliard <laughs> like protecting here wait and there's corpse what you're wait, describing is the is the um corpse pile the same pile as the bone pile it definitely has like a same similar place on the um on the where the planes connect yeah okay that might be a coincidence though because there were oozes here yeah but maybe this makes me think you should definitely try talking to him mm-hmm. tonight. Well, that's probably what's happening, right? Is my theory is that at nighttime, right? Somehow he's able he's able to interact physically here again, and anybody who comes, he just thinks is a demon and kills them. Yeah, to protect Makes this sense. place. But why is he trying to protect this place? That's really the question. Oh no. <laughs> that lasted Ooh. way longer than it had any right to. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh. Cool. So I mean, do you guys basically just go up to um oh yeah, I guess are you gonna try to deal with the the gelatinous liquid oh, right. um, permanently? I mean you might as well I mean, try to spell magic if you're gonna get your spells back, right? Yeah. If we're gonna do it. I mean, if anything, we sounds like if anything, we can cast um we can cast Lehman's tiny hut and like hide from four the ghost. times in a row. <laughs> well, I was gonna say we could just hide from the ghost inside the hut and right. try and talk with it through the hut. So, I, actually, I don't know if sound goes through. I don't remember. I don't think it does. No, I don't think it does. Okay. Okay. So well, I feel anyway. like we should just take yeah, take a night. Okay. Dispel well, we magic. Dispel it, yeah. This is going to be difficult. Cast at level three. You just have to roll a d20. Yeah, DC equals oh, 10 okay. plus the spells level. I thought that would roll the d20. No. Yeah. Well, because sometimes you don't even have to roll. Six. Yep, that was <laughs> literally your, what I just said in my head. Was it the, plus the your spellcasting modifier. <laughs> oh, plus the spellcasting modifier. Uh, no, spell yeah, because it's an ability check. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so DC equals Oh, 10 sorry. Plus yeah, I guess it would be 10 plus. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was I just, yeah. I had 16 in my head and so I just saw the sex and me. No, was like, yeah. that's a 13. <laughs> yeah, 13 doesn't work. Cuz 13 we could try <laughs> Yeah. I could try it again, but I don't want to waste another third level spell slot. Well, yeah, but, but if, if we're, we're going to get it back it doesn't matter. But you're, yeah, we're getting it back. It's not a waste. If it doesn't work. Then we try again the next day. Then we just deal with the cube. Fourteen, later. okay. Plus Fourteen whatever, plus, right? yeah. Yeah. So that spell attack bonus, though. Plus your. It's whatever your it's ability. Your charisma modifier. Yeah. Yeah, it's your say? charisma modifier. Wait, so I'm raising whatever the plus is next to your charisma. Oh yeah, so that would be fine then. Because my charisma is plus four. So yeah, 18. Yep. Yeah, 18. I mean, this isn't more than an eighth level spell. Um, okay. so, for sure. Yep. So the ooze dries up and disappears. Well, so you, you may have just ruined that for the guy who was trying to protect this place, but that's fine. <laughs> well, I have a... If, uh, I mean... I'll say, does he like react at all to like us or is he... Doesn't seem to. The ooze. Um, Nothing to the ooze being gone? Nope. After you do that, you feel a little uh, tap on your shoulder. Turn around. And I... <laughs> it's the mage hand, and it's like about to slap you, and instead it goes like for a high five into a fist bump. If I must, I will. I'll do. <laughs> Very nice. And it gives you a little spank. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> let's go up that. Yeah, let's, do we let's go it? into a into a uh, twenty foot space and spend eight hours there together. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, more than eight hours. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Do we want to actually hide in here, or do we want to go up there? Because how big is Lima's tiny head? It's like ten foot radius, isn't it? That's a ten foot radius. So if yeah. we stay in here, we are not going to be away from the ghost. The ghost is going to come in and join us. No, you so we, Lehman's tiny hut. You control who's. No, no, no. Just kidding. No, it's yeah. So I think we should go up. Yeah. Um, 
So spells can pass and move through it freely. Um, from, from the inside out, though. Can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. Uh, it doesn't say anything about noise. Like, I think we can talk to it through here. I'm trying to think, because one time I had Toity do something. Maybe he cast silence as well. That's oh, what yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, that sounds right. Because, yeah, it doesn't say anything about, like, not being able to, like, hear. A mobile like dome that. of force. Here, I can, uh, I can. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I All can... other creatures or objects are barred through from passing through it. Spells and other magical effects can extend through the dome or be the dome or be cast through it. The atmosphere inside the space is so is comfortable and dry, regardless of the weather outside. Um, cool. Yep. So yeah, I did ritual. I'll ritually cast that up. Up above. Up above. So that and so the plan it. is basically you're just going to spend time in there, go through the entire night, get all your stuff back, dilly dally throughout the day as well. And then, well, would the he try to night? talk to us from up there? Like, or no? I mean, um, he might come out. Right. That's uh, yeah, question. he'll come out, but I don't think he even can. I mean, is it, is it, it's transparent from outside. So he can't even tell there's anything there if he's looking normally. It's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if the ghost has any necessarily like it's opaque or any color you choose from, but trans- from the outside is always true. Oh, from the right, right. But what if we try talking to it? Uh, you could probably get his attention, certainly. Um, and because my worry is that he's going to try to like reinstate the spell, also. Because yeah, none of his other abilities here seem to indicate that he could like actually see through that magically right. offhand. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to talk to him, I mean, so what happens, right, is you get to the night, um, and spooky ghost lights start popping up everywhere. Like, it looks like <clears throat> the place, like the eyes of the dinosaur, pff, like go into like a ghostly blue flame. Um, there's other like torches that just kind of appear out of nowhere. Okay. Think, um, Paz the dead from return of the king where it like there used to be a city here and so it obviously starts to light up as if the city is still there now but it's like this ghostly image of a city um starts to appear around you um you guys find yourself like in the ghostly image of a like a house um and uh yeah then the Iguzma seems to be at the center of like some sort of like maybe religious center of whatever the city was um but uh yeah you see um ghostly lights everywhere and you see but you don't see any people right except for the one guy the shaman um you see him walk out of the maw and he starts doing some sort of religious ritual right um some sort of yeah warding ritual or something like that that he begins practicing right and in front make, of the, the maw like a check to see if we know what's going on yeah i make a religion check does anyone have that uh, i do cool. uh, nope. just make it make it with advantage then because i mean Two untrained people can give you advantage on it. Okay, Caleb. We'll see how she does this time. <laughs> 19. 19 is not bad. Um, yeah, it definitely looks like... Um, I mean, it's it's familiar enough to you because you've at least seen somewhat like Igbaye tribal religion here. Um, it definitely seems like uh, he's warding something away, um, but that seems obvious enough. Um I don't know if with a 19, you could get more than that. Like, it's obviously religious in nature, um, meant to ward off probably evil spirits or something. But again, seems pretty straightforward. You can make an arcana check to know, like, magical details about what's going on. Yeah, like, do we need to be inside there before he puts that up? Uh, Inside where? Like, inside the dinosaur instead of on the outside if he's putting that up. Oh, to ward you against just, whatever it is. Yeah. 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 Um, with a 16 and with a 19 religion, I think you can tell that. I mean, how far away were from the mall were you? Not too far. Yeah. I mean, if it's not too far, then you're probably fine. Uh, whatever he's doing will probably cover you as well. Um, and I think. Everybody make a wisdom save. Ooh. Mm. 13's not too bad. Okay, so Abelard or Al Aliard. Yeah. <laughs> um something happens here. Basically, 
Well, but spells can't pass through the Laman's tiny hut. True. True. Spells and other magical effects can't extend through other the magical effects. Because... Okay, as long as it says other magical effects, that's fine. So you, right there, you, yeah. you, you definitely feel something. I think that's just what the wisdom save probably is then. You, you feel it. The other two don't feel it at all, but you feel that like you aren't wanted here or like someone's trying to get you out, but the magic is protecting you. The Laman's tiny hut. So, yeah, you feel that pressure. Maybe there's like a, a magical shockwave that goes over Lehman's tiny hut. Yeah, yeah, you see this ripple, but it's fine. Um, But I think probably at that point, once that happens, you do see him like jerk his head to the side and like think that something might be wrong, but he doesn't say anything immediately. Right, well, I mean, he can see our dome. It's, it's transparent. Like it's there. Oh, no, it's transparent from no, your it's side. It's opaque or a color we can choose. So, like, if we chose green and we were in the tree line, it would be difficult to see. Yeah, him. yeah. Don't say opaque from the outside. Ghost. Okay, I was thinking the other he, way around, but that he has sense. ghost eyes. Um, Ghosty eyes are watching you. Yeah, again, he doesn't have any like particular. This is like the one thing he can do that's like more magical than just being a ghost. Um, so he doesn't have any like particular um, magical sight or anything like that, but I will just make a perception check for him and, and see if he notices. 15 is not bad. Um, We're also not necessarily trying to hide. Yeah, someone go ahead and make a stealth check, whoever is the highest. Uh, that would be me. I'm pretty yeah. sure because I got a plus seven. Or probably, no, sorry, it would be whoever's the lowest. That would be me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh wow. wow. An old one, yeah. So, Bell, when he looks, I think he he jerks his head, right? And he looks straight at the thing. Um, and it's, he probably would have not actually seen it. He, he sensed that there was something there, and he would have passed right by it. But he looks straight at you, even though he doesn't... We know, as the, as the audience, he didn't actually see you, but you think he did. And so you just, like, stop and, like, trip you know like you just like stumble and mm-hmm. make some noise right like as you're like oh, freaking my out. train mail <laughs> yeah exactly you freak out when he looks straight at you um and that's when he speaks and he says who is there my warding is not expelling you um so what do, what's this guy you say this guy looks like he's a noble or something like, like what language did he just speak to us in yeah actually that's a better question abyssal mm-hmm. sorry yeah i would have been abyssal so okay so you're so you're the only one who is the only one who understands i don't understand yeah i'm like you this and you said he looked like a he he looks like a tribal shaman of some sort um so kind of like a mix between a shaman and what you guys would expect a D &D barbarian in that society look to look like right so he obviously has like this big spiked club um but he also has like you know some I don't know, whatever tribal markings or mm-hmm. accoutrement, whatever that would be for the Igbaye, um, to signify that he's some sort of holy man um, of, of one sort or another. Um, but yeah, he definitely looks like a warrior there too. He's a, well, um, I, 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 I would say, hello there, good sir. We mean you no harm. I think that <laughs> I, wonder was a what, I wonder how that translates into Abyssal. <laughs> um, good hello. sir, specifically. Yeah. Fine. Men, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm sure. There's some way to, to say that. Um, you simply come seeking your. Uh, we oh, not us seeking you. It's like we've huh? heard stories that we want. We were curious to see. We we've heard story. We've heard stories of your presence. Uh, my voice keeps changing. <laughs> Dear. We've heard stories and simply came seeking you. Well, if stories is what you are looking for, I certainly have my share to tell, and he's starting to walk forward. But they may not be the stories you are looking for, traveler. They are stories of... (laughs) Um, (laughs) These are stories of... uh, These are the sorts of stories that you tell to unruly children who need to be scared, to be warned of the dangers of the world, and come to understand that the jungles hold more than just parrots. Yeah, because those are dead now because we killed them. (laughs) We killed no such thing. We rolled for it. No parrots died. 
by all we oh we we do know that the 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 forest has brought us many troubles as we've been seeking you we do understand that we just merely were making sh- we were just merely curious as to if any danger was being posed by your presence but it seems you seem to be protecting this area I am protecting. He keeps, he's walking towards you guys at this point, mm-hmm. slowly. I am protecting Agu's Maw. I am protecting the sacred. I'm protecting the holy ground of a once noble people. What is threatening it? The rulers of this world. Do you not know them? They do not speak with me. Oh, I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna have him make an insight check. <laughs> it's just saying that, like, no, sound here. more important. I'll, than I'll have he you is. make a persuasion check. This is oh, we, goody, because I focus. can't roll lower than a 20. 28. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I mean, he, seems, right. he seems convinced because you're good at talking, right? So I've got he, a silver tongue. It's literally he, a feature. Yeah, yeah. He says, um, I can tell that you're sincere. Do you truly not know? The rulers of this world. And he's using like a, a an Igbaye word when he says that, mm-hmm. right? Like it, that's what it translates to in common. But like it, it, it probably has connotations of. It's, it's not like the sort of ruler who. Like has everything organized and planned and even even one that like would um, plan it you know, badly or, or in an evil way. It's not like a lawful evil thing that he's trying to get across here. He's, he's, he's saying ruler in the sense that like they are r- so powerful that they can run amok and no one can do anything about it. That's the, what the word gets across to you. Um, so they're rulers de facto, but that doesn't mean that they actually have a plan or that it, it's, it's, it, there's a very like order chaos dichotomy that's happening here mm-hmm. where it's like, he's talking about a, a, a a cadre of powerful beings who can do whatever they want and can get away with it and no one can stop them. I know of no such rulers, so... Then you are more ignorant than I expected. Well, then please... But maybe that ignorance has saved you for now. But the time of ignorance has passed. I I agree. Please inform me. What, What are these rulers you speak of? Whom are these rulers you speak of? I'm trying to think of what else he'd say about them exactly. If anything, these people must be stopped. If they are, in fact, people. They must be. There is a presence in these lands that has tainted my home, tainted my ancestral homeland. There are creatures here that were once kept in check. And he looks and he's like very close to the the hut by this point and he says show yourself to me can we uh you can, can i can we can walk the hut. out you can. okay can, can i come out? back in if i walk out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah okay i don't yeah. I, could... I just can't leave or else it dispels the it, it drops the hut mm-hmm. but yeah you can come back in okay wait all of the creatures and objects are barred from passing through it except for the ones that are designated from at the beginning of the spell right. okay okay because right. I remember Ari would. Go oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm seeing it. Now I'm seeing Darius it. Darius one time like poked his head out and was mm-hmm. like, "What?" To like creatures <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Totally I just random. skipped over that line. So yeah, yeah, what I'll do is I'll slowly walk out and just kind of like, with an air. He doesn't confidence. go to attack you or anything. Yeah, I can just jump back if I want to. Yeah, he can't follow. <laughs> and I, 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 I kind of step out, kind of give a little bow. I am Eliad Ueros. He frowns and he says, I have seen some of your kind before. Others who are not marked as we are. Marked. I can, I, I, um, Eliad would kind of like... Make a, make a history check. Can I also make it? Yeah, I'm horrible at history. Anyone, anyone well, wait, we don't understand what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you didn't, you didn't it has to be me. I was going to say, because I literally was going to be like, oh, ask him this. But, oh, 
Chris. Oh, hey, hey, um, hey, LR, hey. It's so clear to me, to you. I, I think like you have heard this line over and over again um, mm-hmm. from any religious tieflings, not maybe any, but like a certain, you, okay. So I think for whatever reason, Aliard, it's not like all tieflings say this all the time, but there's a certain subsect of tieflings in this area, particularly who have been repeating this, um, this, this terminology, um, and Aliard probably doesn't have the context to remember anything else about those people, but you you feel like you've heard that several times before, and it clicks, and you're like, oh, he's a tiefling. He's talking about the demon mark, right? Like the the thing that made them into tieflings, whatever it was. I um, almost became. I almost picked tiefling as my class too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, you're you're very familiar with that. You've heard it a, a bunch of times, and again, it's not something that like anyone would pick up from just any tiefling um mm-hmm. especially not in this area um anyone who's done a history of the igbaye typically they don't speak of the them being the way they are as a curse or a bad thing really or even a mark of any sort it's just like the way they are um but you know especially with this credit on the history they used to think so right so this that's probably something that just faded over time but like this is something that older like more ancient tieflings knew very intimately and were like Mm -hmm. and and there's and when he says it there's like a it's not even just like a a sadness there's also like a um an anger and a regret almost like pointed back at him right like i was part of whatever happened to make us like this and you get that across mm. in his tone and the way he's speaking about this. Um, so something, I think you, again, 22 history, you, whatever you picked up in the history of the tieflings of this area, you pick up in this moment that like something happened way back when with this empire that caused them to be like this. They probably weren't tieflings before this happened, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. But he's speaking of that moment right now. And, and, and all of the things he's doing kind of come into focus for you. He's basically like, I have to protect this place because if if i don't the demons will get it and i was part of the bad things that happened to make them taint this land in the first place and i feel responsible for that so i'm i came back as a ghost to do this forever <laughs> well, uh, well i uh i'm i'm sorry uh what 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 is you, i have any weird connotations to ask him his name um i am sorry good sir for the guilt you carry but i can assure you your people feel no such shame or guilt towards you in fact had they heard of you i assure you your people hold no ill intent hold no no ill will towards your actions anymore they see no shame in their being are you saying then that these creatures could come back again and cause more problems. He just seems really sad. And he doesn't really say anything to you. It's just your words have just deflated him. And he just like slumps. And he does that for, I think he stays like that for about a minute. Do you say anything during that time? Or just let him have his moment. I'll kind of sit back, sit down next to him. <laughs> He's a ghosty boy, right? Yeah. Okay. I had an idea of something I was going to do, but I won't do it since he's a ghosty boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'll just kind of sit down next to him. I, I've been a bartender. I'm used to this. Oh, yeah. For people sure. sit there. People <laughs> sit there. They give oh, me that's their, amazing. <laughs> they, people come sit there. They listen. Give me they give me it's like, yeah, this is a time we just shut up and let him solve. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think about that. That's great. I pass him an ale. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what I've been no. here the yeah. whole time. Yeah, too bad you don't have any ale to give <laughs> that, him. I was I was gonna jokingly say because I thought this earlier that I actually yep. did have wine on me, but I didn't want to share it with you because it was too good. <laughs> but he's a ghosty boy; he can't yeah, have it. Yeah. So if you let him just kind of slump for a minute, and he just says, "Then I have failed." Who's to say you have failed? You have created life. You have given people meaning and purpose in ways they couldn't have without you. He frowns. What are you speaking of? <laughs> he laughs and he, uh, um, yeah, LAR kind of just laughs and says, I'm, I'm from a city nearby. 
um, no rulers and such that you would speak of are there, but there are many a tiefling. Many or whatever you use they were um yeah. Ig, but Ig, Ig, but Ig by a would be the like cultural Ig term by a. Yeah. There are many an Ig by a there, and they are a very proud and noble class. And they So Aliar, that's a lie. <laughs> it, is it? Yes. So okay. most of the chieflings in this rolled, area are chiefling. slaves. <laughs> Right. Oh, I forgot yes. about that. Uh huh. So, <laughs> but they are they are proud. They're not ashamed of the fact that they're tiefling. Yes, yes, that is definitely. Uh, I, I mean, it's not okay. really so. Okay, so you, the, from the, your context, okay. you wouldn't speak of it as a pride. It would literally be an ignorance. They just don't remember. Oh, uh, right. And that probably what I say is like they do not mind being tieflings at all. So they are perfectly fine with their state. So they have forgotten our sins. They have forgotten our curse. This is the worst outcome I could have imagined. If they've forgotten it and don't mind, is it really a curse? Is a poison still going to kill you if you don't know it's there? Think about that. <laughs> Think about it as a check. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, what? That is like, I don't know. Is that how it works? <laughs> no, say, what, if, what if he gave him like an example of like a tiefling who like did like good in the world, like a tiefling who saved the world in legend. That's the thing. Those are different. <laughs> te- I think that's a different. That is also tiefling. a different well, type I of just, tiefling. I would that's just true. be interested in like, okay, like what are these sins? Like what are you thinking? Yeah, okay, yeah, like that's exactly, yeah. What, 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 what exactly is it they forgot? What has happened that is apparently so bad to doom an entire race? We accepted them. What? Well, so, well, you cut off for a second. We accepted them. We accepted them as our gods. We accepted gifts from them. Powerful gifts. And on an island far from here, it broke us. Do I, would I know anything about this history given the history of um, familiar? Make another history check. Separate. Yeah, make another history check. Okay, because I... No, not with 12. Okay. It's very obscure. You don't know what he's talking about. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think what to say. But I'm, if I don't know the context, I don't know really yeah. what to say. Yeah. And he doesn't seem like eager to give you it. Like, he seems very lost in his own emotions now. Um. So I think he he probably just says, like, I have no purpose then. I should fade. <laughs> I, have al- probably... I have already lost. It is of no use. Well, what and I, I kind of yell out to him. I'm like, ask him about the demons. What's <laughs> <laughs> in the temple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, would <laughs> we have a job to do? <laughs> but no, the probably no. Then it's probably like, wait, there's more of you. <laughs> wait, no, yeah, I was gonna say, don't do that, but. Probably he would say like, well, what uh, if if I may ask, what ha- what is it you have been doing? Yeah, I've since sanctifying this place, trying to call upon the Elusi to fix something, to keep them away for just a little bit longer, to save this place from the creep that has happened to everything else. What would happen if that? didn't what would happen if you didn't succeed i've already failed i am seeing it before my eyes this place has been tainted for some time and i just haven't seen it at this point ali i was like well if he just fades then he'll go away and then we don't have to worry about it and like <laughs> yeah. the tieflings are and just you can see that. yeah you can see that Aliard. like you can literally see that if you just let this guy not like if you don't press him any further to like not give up he'll just fade he'll just literally give up being a ghost and just fade i feel like it's the wrong choice but i don't know what else ali are we he'd be like hey that's fine by me i don't know <laughs> don't yeah, so he starts to, to he starts to like just disappear you guys can see this um uh as I was to, he would say this before you r- r- real quick before you go what what is your name Yabano, I think. 
because Aliar does want to look into this to figure out what the heck yeah, is he yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about. But at the same time, if he goes away, it sounds like the guy says it's going to be like no different. So like, what has he been protecting in the temple? Is there something special he was protecting? Well, that's a treasure, he, a magical treasure. He doesn't seem to be too keen on saying it. Yeah, but you haven't been pressing <laughs> him. Fine. It's like, but, but like, what, 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 what happened? Uh, I'm trying to think of how he would naturally fit this in the conversation. Yeah. What have you been doing? And so, okay, so Yabano, um, so I know, I know you say what you've been doing is pointless, but I, I still, I must ask. What what is it you have been doing? Trying to protect this place from people who would bring them here. I dream every day. I dream of that day, of that, of when the world ended. I tried but they were everywhere. My own people turned into monsters and I fell, but only when I cursed this place. I see that now I wasn't protecting anything. I was just being a vengeful spirit doomed to haunt this land for my sins. I have no purpose here. I Is there fade. any... Is there anything in particular you have been guarding here? Make a persuasion check. See if you can like prod that last bit out of him as he fades 27. away. 27 is very Ugh, what a horrible roll. Only a 27 <laughs> embarrassing. <only> a 27. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you have gotten crit fails on the zoo on both sides, though. Yeah, I have I did just no set. So he just says, You will see soon enough. And he looks directly at you. He says, I give you this place. Um, how, would he say, how would he say, um, what would he call you? Uh, yeah, he says, I give you this place, ferryman into death. <laughs> you may have whatever is inside. Can I? <laughs> Allie, I was kind of like the okay, make cool. A check. Make an insight check. Jeez, would Allie <laughs> figure out if this is a good or bad thing? Actually, that's that's actually no. I I could insight that. Would I? Would that make sense yep. for me? Okay, I'll insight. Twenty four. Ooh, twenty four. Yeah. So basically, what he's saying is, if he fades, all the magic of this place is going to go away, which means whatever is below will just open up, and mm -hmm. you can have whatever is inside. And um, I he's I don't think he's saying it to be like ha 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 you're gonna die if you go in there but I want to trick you and like he's nothing like that he literally just doesn't care anymore so he's just like I guess I'm just gonna let this place be tainted by every, like I, everything else because it doesn't matter okay so I was gonna say is there any like foreboding to it but I guess it's just that you basically like given this guy the information that leads that has lived, led him directly towards ghost suicide so. Yeah, you should feel great about what you just did. <laughs> I mean, mission accomplished. We got the ghost to go away. Feeling good. <laughs> yeah, and he fades away if he, if you don't say anything else to him. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, like you're only a bartender. Un un yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Dang it, Jim! I'm a bartender, not a I'm, psychologist. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm the guy who knew how to talk, but not not the yep. guy who knew what to talk about. So I could persuade him of stuff. I just don't know anything that like literally I just got lucky with a crit on the one thing. Yep. And I'll turn I'll turn back to the guy that he's gone. I'll kind of like, give what him the did run. you say to him? I'll give him the rundown of what happened, but Ali is kind of like that. He's kind of weird and confusing, but I he seems to like he seemed to be very he he seemed to be feeling guilty of turning all the people into tieflings can i make a history check at this point yeah. to see like yeah, yeah, yeah. if i've heard stories his name about... was yanabo he thought oh that was 14's bad. not good enough yeah can i make one hmm? yep. i mean if anything the adamant guild has plenty in their library i'm sure we could find something about this yanabo eh. 
too yeah. obscure. I mean, yeah, enough that like you know this is sort of the basics of what Al- Aliard kind of knew, but that's about it. And yeah, I mean, it's com- it's general common knowledge that like, like there like used to be an empire here. But but yeah, it's also been mythologized a lot. So a lot of scholars will disagree as to whether or not there really was an empire. You know, a lot of you know, so there are some scholars who are like, no, 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 the Tieflings here aren't civilized enough to have ever had an empire. Like they're just savages, right? Uh, and there's other people who are like, no, 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 I, you know, there's these ruins. They came from somewhere. Um, you know, so on and so forth. And at the same time, like I, I was thinking, like he seemed to feel really guilty about it, but the Tieflings seem to be, other than the fact that they're slaves, perfectly fine. Hmm. <laughs> I realize that's other not than that. the <laughs> other than the fact that they're other than slaves. Not other than the fact that they me. went from top dog to now mm-hmm. slaves, they're fine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no. like, other than nothing that is like catastrophic change. <laughs> At least they're okay like, with the fact that they have demon horns now. I guess that's cool. <laughs> they don't seem to <laughs> complain about the horns. They have more things to worry about than the horns. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Now I wish I had been a tiefling because I would be like, dude, I got like cool powers i got like <laughs> hellish rebuke and all this cool stuff i got yeah, plus yeah, two yeah. my charisma great <laughs> um i'm just kind of like so he said he gave this place to you let's go yeah. raid it Bye. <laughs> uh, <Loot. let's, clears throat> well let's take a long rest first and then yeah let's finish our rest yeah morning right mm-hmm. yeah Reading makes that. sense and that is, probably as they're going, they're going to the back of the hut. No, back probably back in that. Just Alier goes, I call dibs. <laughs> on whatever's in there. That yeah, I mean, honestly, how this works. All. It and, is mine. And honestly, because all. it's already 930, I think I just give you guys the loot and we just call it there, right? Like, I think the, the, the main, like, theme and plot of this was literally just like, you get there and you realize, oh, yeah, there's like, there's stuff happening here. And this is a really depressed ghost. Yeah, really depressed I ghost. I depressed just, a ghost to death. Yes, that is exactly what you did. <laughs> yep. I didn't but, know. Like after we get the treasure and you guys Somehow leave, you managed to make the ghost commit suicide. Uh, yeah, exactly. You, <laughs> you went like, away. I think like the thing is, we, what we see is the audience after you guys leave with the treasure um, is mm-hmm. basically just the place gets overrun with gnolls and lizard folk and goblins, right? As they just trash the place you know they just take anything you guys missed and the place becomes a squad and like a place where monsters squat now like these various savage tribes um and we get we get the sense that like uh i think part of your history your context of the history check there aliard probably was to also was based on what he said was those are the sorts of monsters that the empire used to keep in check Right. Like if they existed mm-hmm. at all, it was it, they didn't bother anyone. Right. Because the empire was there to make sure they didn't. But now, since they fell, they're just everywhere and they're killing everybody. Right. Um, so Ghosty so that, Boy was keeping those guys back. Yes. And so really it was like he kind of conflates them with the demons in some way, um, which isn't 100 percent wrong because a lot of them are evil and bad. Right. And they were definitely causing lots of problems. Um, maybe maybe a couple of the tribes do worship demons. Who knows? Um, but uh, like he he had that like I must protect this from these from from what became of our sins right like if I if I don't protect this place then all of the empire has fallen but now you basically just shown him it doesn't matter because all the tieflings have forgotten their heritage anyway um, so like we I've already failed anyway it doesn't even matter ghosty boy <laughs> monsty boys eh. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not too much difference. Because there, oh, no, there are monsters in there too. There are the gelatinous cubes. Yeah, they're his monsters, though. They're like arcane things oh. that he are there to protect the temple. Oh, look at the little murder cubes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What so is that? you loot, found loot, 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 loot. I wonder part, if part of it is probably also because Aliard's heard so many sob stories. He's like, okay, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, right. I uh-huh. feel like that's was, what it was. You just did what you normally do, but you didn't realize that like the weight of what this actually was until it was too late to do anything anyway. Right. And so you're like, mm-hmm. well, I don't really have any way to talk you out of this, <laughs> but like <laughs> you're don't. already here. You're, you're in the downward spiral and yeah, I just gotta. Had it. Had I been a tiefling, which I really was considering, I would have had a way. It's like, oh, look, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so you get four hundred copper pieces. Wow, 
6,000 silver pieces, 2,800 gold, 130 platinum, two diamonds worth 100 GP, two pearls worth 100 GP, an amethyst, a chrysoberyl, a garnet, a, and jade, all worth 100 GP. Find a spell scroll of a prayer of healing, a dust of disappearance, a potion of fire breath, a potion of greater healing, a 10 foot loop of steel chain worth 30 gold, a small cask of salted meat worth 30 gold, three barrels of parry, 36 gold, and a 50 foot 50 foot of soot blackened silk rope. Um, what is the parry? Rich? What? Say again. What is parry? I don't know. I'll Google it. Parry. Um, that's an I of course parry the platypus. Why did why did I oh my god, it weighs 960 oh, it's a, pounds? It's a drink, it's an alcoholic beverage made from fermented. <laughs> <laughs> so we're literally just gonna camp out here for Where like are pears from my backyard. I, I don't know if they'd have I don't think I don't know if it would be this exactly because yeah, from southeastern Europe. Um whatever whatever you can make alcohol up out of in Western Africa. Who knows? And it's I, old. Grab a straw and stick it in. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Akpateshi is what you find. Um, produced by s- distilling palm wine or sugar cane. There you go. So yeah, the sweet. It's probably sweet. <clears throat> Definitely okay. not what you're used Stayed. to. I don't get super drunk. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. How would we get that back? That is really heavy. This well, I'm drinking it. I'm saying, drinking a bunch that's, of that. That's something we're probably going to have to leave behind. That well, that's why I'm drinking. <laughs> and then all, all the goblins are going to get drunk. <laughs> well, let's it's figure all the out way down here, though. I mean, like, I guess they could come down here and find it. But yeah, yeah. Let's let's divvy the. Oh, I guess we kind of have to divvy this up now. I mean, we don't really have to unless. Unless you're coming back to the characters. To this. Yeah. I put all of it on my I mean, character sheet. So if we come rich. back to Yeah, so I put it on my character sheet. So if we come back to we can divvy it, but we don't have to right now. Cool. Sounds good. There you go. Well These characters are set for life. <laughs> so it's honestly the fun, the fun thing about doing these side stories is I keep getting to hint at bigger stuff that's happening in the region without your characters knowing about it <laughs> uh so you your characters will continue to be surprised but you as players will be like oh i see connections mm-hmm. so that, that'll, be fun. that'll be fun cool this has been Terra and Victa. i think that is it thanks for playing guys it's fun to kind of d- fight some monsters at first and then wax poetic about <laughs> a fallen empire and as as a second part so uh sounds like a successful D session to me all right We are out. Adios.